So, my favorite movie is Transformers, okay? And I want to watch Transformers upstairs on my laptop so I can hook it up to the TV so it's on a bigger screen. But where's Transformers? It's on my desktop downstairs. So what do I have to do? I have to, I don't know, burn it to a CD, get off the flash drive, put it in, maybe, try to put it on. I'm like, oh no, there's not enough space. I hate when this happens. So we're going to forget about it. With Windows 7, there's a simpler way to share files between computers on the same home network. It's called a home group. It's a simple idea, but it's so awesome. I could watch a movie that's on this computer from that computer without having to actually move the movie over. What do I have to do? I just have to create a home group. I'm going to show you how to create a home group, and I'm going to show you how to join one and how to use one. So, you open up Control Panel, uh, which is over here and you're gonna go to network and internet then you go to home group when you get a home group oh there's no home group on your network oh no well let's make one create a home group well what do you want to share what do you want the other computers in this house to be able to see well they can see my music sure sure cuz cuz I won't listen to my music on another computer printers I definitely want to share printers that way you can print to a printer that's in another room which is pretty cool um, I want to share my videos because that's where all my movies are okay but I don't want to share my pictures because I take weird pictures have photo shoots in the bathroom okay yeah so I don't want to share my pictures next okay then it's gonna create the home group and it's gonna give you your password it's gonna generate some random password and go ahead and copy that and finish and home group is currently sharing blah 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 and you wanna you wanna check this stream because that's how it allows them to j j just check it okay then wait for this a second because I want to change the password because I, I don't want that random password I don't know why it does this there we go I don't, I don't like that random password I want a password that I can remember when I go to the other computer and show you how to do it at home group. So change the password and um, subscribe to me. Next. I said next. Computer solves, right? And once it changes the password, finish. And I'm going to go over to the other computer, and I'm going to show you how to join the home group. I need a shave. Oh, my bad. Okay, we're on computer number two, okay? And on computer number two, computer number two is not yet on the home group. There's only one computer on the home group. That's the computer we created. Uh, the comp y y You know what I mean. The other computer that we are just on. So, I want to join the home group, okay? And now since I don't put weird pictures of myself on this computer I'm gonna keep that checked but um, yeah I don't I don't want documents shared because I want only specific documents so I'm gonna click next now I gotta type the password Sub uh, uh, yeah subscribe to me no seriously subscribe to me Let's do it just click the subscribe button it's up there I think yeah up there Okay, I've joined the home group, and it's sharing, so that's why some of these features are disabled. What exactly does this mean now? This means that when I want to watch a movie next time, it's on this computer or that computer. It doesn't matter what computer it's on, I can watch it. And if I bring a third computer and join it in the home group, all those files are shared. Not all those files, but the files I choose. So, um, but wait a minute, we didn't share documents, but now I want to finish a paper on that computer that I typed on this computer. So how do we do that? I'm going to show you how to choose just specific files. To so I'm in my documents and I wrote my To Kill a Mockingbird paper, which is a great book on this computer, and I want to move it, or share it, not move it. So I'm going to right click it, I'm going to go to Share With, and I'm going to click, click Home Group Read and Write. That way they can change it. If it was just read, they could see it. They could open it, but they couldn't change anything unless they save as. But now I'm gonna let them read and write, and now it will be it will be available on that computer. So, 
And let's say I wanted to see a file that's on that computer. Well, they shared their videos with me, right? So I'm going to go look at their videos. I'm going to go to network. Then I'm going to go to... Oh, there's a third computer here. Now it's my brother's. I'm going to go to my sister's. Users. Videos. These files are not on my computer. They're on that computer. And now I'm seeing them. And I don't have to move them. I'm streaming them from that computer to my computer. That's the power of home groups. Home groups are cool. They're great. And this is a video of me doing something. Oh, I remember this. Well, anyway, that's how home groups work. Please subscribe, comment, rate, and if you have a request for a tutorial, something you need to know about, I probably know about it. So just tweet me, drop a comment below, video response, whatever. Thanks for watching.